welcome back and um, hope you've had a really good week so this week we're back to normality now fully fully settled in from the conference so this week we're going to be doing what are the hidden emotions so we're going to go into the workings of their little inner brains again and um, find out what emotions are kind of going on under the scenes what you're not entirely sure about okay so 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 i'm using new decks again because i have so many and i want to show you them all and um, this one we did use last week for when the shit hits the fan but this one is um the guardian tarot in case you're interested it's a beautiful deck but it creeped me out a little bit because they, they they don't have eyes but i've got used to it now and it's actually a really really good deck okay so deck number one and deck number two think about you think about your person my cards are boxed. Think about you, think about your person, uh, go, that's my dog, go where your heart energy is taking you. So number one, number two, and think about all those emotions that are kind of being raised up in, in your heart at this moment in time where your heart is pulling you. Uh, number one and number two, what are their hidden emotions? Okay, let's go. So as always, as you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of situations, regardless of if you're third party, if you're single, if you're in a relationship, if you're not talking, um, whatever your individual circumstances are, we need to, they, they will be personal readings, but your collective energy goes into all your energies, goes into all your people's energy and pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, think about your person. Let's get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions emotions and thought processes uh, okay yeah we'll do that and we'll do all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes so the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear is i've got a song i've got rhiannon uh fleetwood max it's actually one of my favorite songs i love fleetwood max stevie nicks girl um okay what are their hidden emotions for the people watching can you tell us that please one let me do one one for eight two three four god they're jumping well what are their people what are the hidden emotions for the people watching how is their person what emotions are they hiding for them four nine the guy changed his mind nine We're using that these decks are very intuitive as well. So if you're a more intuitive reader, these are really going to be good for you. Five, if you read six, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mass is not my strong point. Eight, nine. Okay. So they're hidden emotions for you. They are definitely hiding um, their feelings. Don't creep out about the eyes, okay? Um, they are hiding, you could maybe put some little bobbly ones on them. They are hiding um, from their emotions at this moment in time. Uh, they are feeling a little bit weak and a little bit vulnerable with regard to the situation. Um, so that vulnerability is being hidden um, underneath the surface of it all. So if they're ignoring you, if you're in communication and they're withdrawing or just being idiots, whatever your individual circumstances are, part of the reason for that is this kind of vulnerability that's going on within them, going on within inside themselves and they've gone into a little bit of self-protect okay so they've got this self-protect energy coming forward quite strongly they can see that you two could have a very new passionate uh, beautiful beginning they can see that you guys are kind of standing more in your power at this moment in time but they're blocking you getting into their energy right now and um, they're trying to keep balanced on it all and they're balancing their head and they're balancing their heart and what's happening is at the moment they're working more on the head based energy and their heart energy they're just kind of dismissing again because of that vulnerability so there are emotions underneath the surface of this all they do really care about you they do love you but they're they are being a bit scaredy cats we're having a bit of a scaredy cat moment with your person people um, so they're trying to keep balance balancing their head balancing their emotions and kind of blocking themselves uh, from expressing how they are feeling they're also blocking their intuition and blocking their uh, instincts as well so your person most of your people watching remember I'm never I never work with genders or sexually or I'm not, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated on this channel um, but the energy that's coming through is that this masculine energy that is blocking this female energy and they're blocking their intuition they're blocking um, 
the kind of divine feminine energy, your power, your sass, your sexiness, your attractiveness, um, and that they've got this block up towards it, not acting on emotions at this moment in time. Okay. Feeling in a little bit of a dark place as well, Spirit is saying. Um, and this is why Rhiannon is coming through to you Like You know, it says, wouldn't you love to love her? Um, she lives her life like a bird in flight and who will be her lover? And that's how your person is feeling at this moment in time. They're feeling fed up. They're feeling um, vulnerable. They're feeling weak. They've been a little bit weak with regard to the situation. So if they've kind of cut you off or you're not in communication, it's because of this weakness and this vulnerability within them. So they're just kind of dismissing it all at the moment or trying to dismiss it all at the moment and work on this head-centered energy rather than this heart-centered energy. They've kind of got their emotions behind them. Um, they are being swamped with emotions because if you look at this little boat, I've spoke about this before, um, it's like your person has kind of gone out to sea. They normally feel quite safe in the harbour on top of their emotions. They've been dragged out to sea. Their water is emotions. Their emotions have been going everywhere. Um, and they're feeling a little bit swamped with it all at the moment. So they have just turned their back on it turn their back on this heart-centered energy that they have towards you and just acting on their head, acting on logic. Um, and that's why, if you know, if you are in communication and they're being abrupt or they're being shitty or they're being hot and cold and then throwing you something and then taking it away, um, it's because they are scared of being vulnerable. They took their, their ship that they are normally safely on out into the sea, their emotions are going everywhere, they're getting swamped with it all, so they've decided to kind of disconnect from the emotions and act on the logical side of it. Now moving on from there, we do have this, this heart-centered masculine energy coming forward. So whilst they are hiding away from all of this, this is what's currently going on, they have this um, great hope within them that you two have kind of got a chance together they have this fire burning in their soul a lot of this uh, you lot of your twin flames especially uh, the twin flame connections between you all they have this fire burning in within their soul um, and they're actually in this period of hiding away from things they're going through a period of transformation so whilst they're feeling vulnerable they're having this wake-up call these towers are kind of hitting around them realizing that there is a bigger plan here you know there is a bigger picture there's a bigger picture there's a bird's eye view and whilst they're not accepting that at the moment what's happening is whilst they're not accepting it they're going through this period of transformation they are moving themselves um forward to a certain extent but they it's like they're doing three steps forward and two steps backwards you know um they'll move towards you with heart-centered energy we're feeling that their soul is on fire having this big dance of passion between the two of you and then they withdraw again Okay, um, and even if you're not in contact, that is still what's happening. So if you're thinking, oh, they haven't spoke to me, Ali, it's the same thing. They they block in it at this moment in time. They'll make a few moves towards you, withdraw, and then go backwards, go back into this little hermit cave as such. Okay, um, their feelings there are strong, but this period of transformation is what is currently happening. Um, I've just got you only know you love her when you let her go as well. I can't remember who sings that. Um, but that's what your person is going through at the moment. They're hiding from that vulnerability. But they are going to realise once they've let you go, once the whole situation's been released, that they miss you. There's more for those of you that aren't in contact. Okay, what else have we got? We've got these uh, feelings of feeling trapped, feeling a little bit stuck with the situation. They've also got, some of them also got into this, I've made my bed, I'm gonna lie in it, energy. Sexual energy, um, insecure energy, um, and then at the bottom of it all, there is these heart-centered emotions. So they're over-swamped with these fears, they're over-swamped with this energy of I'm trying to make themselves feel secure. But the heart-centered energy, this little green, person at the bottom this heart-centered energy is there but they're just portraying it in a different way at this moment in time they're just not quite ready to act on it hence the three steps forward two steps backwards um, they are still watching you if you're wondering if they're watching what you're up to if you're not in contact or even if you are in contact you guys are watching each other if you can see that these people are kind of peering through the walls okay so you're watching one another and you are echoing this energy as well to a certain extent so you're wanting to feel secure within this relationship you're wanting to feel more stable within this relationship and your person um, is wanting the same but they're doing it within themselves so they're thinking largely about themselves rather than about you at this moment in time because they don't want to appear vulnerable if you get what i mean okay 
so they're kind of trapping themselves they've got themselves as well in this situation that they know their energies are going to be entwining again here we have the beautiful helix that we talk about where your energies wave in and wave out and wave in and wave out and you guys are at this point where you're about to meet um there is still this block in the way this block at the moment again is this heart and um is this not acting on their emotions they're acting on logic but as this period of transformation happens with them that period of logic is going to disapparate or do it yeah evaporate not to separate that's from harry potter is going to evaporate and your two souls are going to entwine together and with the two birds at the top and um, i've just got two turtle doves uh, possibly around christmas time if you're wondering about timings um you two are very it's a very very spiritual connection between you both um and there isn't it's very very hard to break that connection between you so if you're thinking that they are over it or that they can't feel it you would not be right don't let your ego or your fears get in the way okay there's an alignment happening this period of transformation even though it feels like nothing is happening at the moment this period of transformation that your person is having is going to mean that you guys are going to have this alignment energy um, other emotions that your person is blocking, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Nine of Swords. So we have a mixed up energy going on here. We have heart centered and energy, we have kind of logical situations again. And your person is definitely between the two worlds at this moment in time. So when these fears step in, they act on the logical side of things. When they start to realise that it's more of a spiritual connection, that they can't act on logic, that they are going to make two steps forward towards you, then they act on the heart-centred energy and they can see that the two of you have got a future. But then they get their start, knickers in a twist, withdraw, block it up and go back into this fear-based energy. Um, they can see the two of you have got a future. There's some, you know... You've got a lighthouse and a church on this card and you've got these four, I don't know if you can see that, the crossroads at the bottom, okay? So your person is at this crossroads and they are debating which way to go. The lighthouse almost reminds me of a tower. So they're thinking, do we go towards the tower or do we go towards the heart-centered energy? And this is why they are juggling these emotions, juggling these energies and the vulnerability again is coming, coming into play. Um, they've got these fear-based energies they have a lot more fears than perhaps you guys acknowledge there is stuff that's happened when they were younger there's family issues we've also got escapism behavior alcohol drugs some of them not all of you guys but some of your people have got issues with that um and these when they're having these kind of dark nights when they're having these fears come up to the surface it's not just to do with you it's to do with them and they think am i good enough what what i've never treated my person you lot with the respect that they need why do they still love me what how can they still care about me i've been nothing but an idiot um so they have a fear of themselves and then they have that fear of that vulnerability you know they get close towards you they feel weak they feel like they're not in control of the situation because obviously it's a more divine connection and they panic and they withdraw they are going with the flow of it at this moment in time okay you are in their thoughts you are in their feelings you are in their emotions they want to reach out they want to make this connection with you they want to rebuild rebond or build and bond if you're still in communication and they're just withdrawing they want all of that but they are very 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 frightened at this moment in time because of all the reasons that we've said they're stepping you know with this period of transformation as well again not sexually orientated or gender specific but the energy of the masculine they are stepping more into this energy of the masculine and blocking this female energy out now, i don't know if you guys have ever heard a song uh, by the kinks called the man that is the energy of the emperor that is the energy of your person um and that is where they they are at this moment in time they're in this emperor kind of based energy they're in this strong standpoint um but when they think about you and they see your emotions and they see how you feel we get um you know they, they see you in this kind of empress role this nurturing role this divine feminine role um and if you've ever heard a song called the whole of the moon that's how they see you you know they can only see surface level and they can see that you can see a lot more than that you know a lot more than what you're letting on um, and again, that kind of panics them. It worries them a little bit. Um, so they're being a bit stubborn as well. There are heart-centered energies here. They can see that they have a future with you. They're, they do, uh, they love you. They love you. They just have a very funny way of showing it. 
very funny way of showing it. Um, your energies echo, your energies are mirroring. They are on self protect they are trying to balance their head and their heart. They are fed up, they have took their ship out to sea and got swamped with emotions. They are having a period of transformation while they are in this negative energy uh, or this lower frequency. Um, you both have this heart-centered energy. You're echoing between the... They are going into fear and love, fear and love, fear and love. Trying to balance the two. Your helixes are entwining. Um, and they're just going to go with the flow of it. They know when there's a will, there's a way. And what's meant to be, will be. Okay? Then try not to think too far down the line. But with regard to their emotions, they have got a lot of hidden feelings going on for you. A lot of hidden emotions that they can't express to you in words. That's why we're here. Um... But they'll go with the flow of it and your helixes will soon entwine. And hopefully your person has completely, not necessarily had a personality transplant for a lot of you, but they've learned and developed and grown from the situation with you. Okay, that is deck number one. Okay, if you need me, just uh, I'll put all the details in the description. There's, I do 15 minute readings, half hour readings. I do single question readings over email. They're $11.11 11 per question. Turnaround on them is 24 to 48 hours. Um, 15 minute, half hour. I also have a couple places again uh, for spiritual teaching. So if any of you are interested in developing with me, mentoring, let me know. Okay, deck number two, 1609. Okay, beauties, here we go. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, as you know, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, we're going into the workings of your inner person's mind to see what emotions they are hiding from you. Okay, think about your person. Uh, let's get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Uh, I got James Arthur saying you won't let go. Don't make me sing it. I'm a terrible singer. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your people as well. And then we are going to get to it. I just said two more, two more. That did not work. Two more. One. Two. Okay. Are you ready? Can you tell me what are the people's, what their person, the people watching, their person's hidden emotions? What are their hidden emotions for the people watching? Can you tell me? So we're going to get nine cards like we did with deck number one. What are their hidden emotions? This deck is the Mystic Dream Tarot. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Myst Mystical Dream Tarot by Janet Pedalato. She's lovely. She's a, she's a class A girl. Loved her when I met her. So if you, it took her 10 years to draw up this deck, if your guys are interested. And it's all through dream interpretation. It's all come through her dreams. What are their emotions? The hidden emotions. What are their hidden emotions for the people watching? Come on, come on, come on. Little taste of heaven. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, so we're kind of start over this side of things. So your person at the moment, and um, again, remember, we don't work on circumstances. If you want to look at your individual circumstances, drop me an email for personal readings. But your collective energy, so all your energies, all your people's energies, and the strongest mutual energy between you all. So your person is currently still clinging on to the situation with you. They are feeling a little bit like an onion, okay? So there is a lot of depths. To your person and um, they have this outside exterior of this onion let's think let's think of an onion okay you have the first layer and you peel the layer off and you have another layer and you have another layer and you have another layer so your person is clinging on to the situation with you and they have only been showing you the top layer of what their emotions actually are so that kind of stands with everything that we've said about their emotions being hidden they have shown you the top layer the surface level of the onion and they haven't unwrapped it yet but they are still hoping with this or well, there's they are clinging on 
to the situation with you. They're trying to keep pretty grounded on it. They're trying to keep pretty level on it at this moment in time. But it feels that the heart centered, the heart energy towards you is kind of sweeping them a little bit off their feet. I just had a clairvoyant image of, um, I don't know what Disney film it is, but at the end where the princess is on the horse and, and is it, um, Sleeping Beauty, I don't know what the prince was called in, in Sleeping Beauty, but he's taken her off into the sunset with this big castle. So your person is having a few dreams about you, especially if we're using a dream tarot deck. They are having dreams about you. They have only really shown you the surface level of their emotions and there are a lot of emotions hidden underneath it. And they're trying to keep grounded at the moment, but their head is running away with the fairies um, and they've got hope going on. They can see that you two could be together. They can see that the two of you could have a beautiful, brilliant, phenomenal future, um, but they are a little bit scared um, because they've never felt this way before. They've never had these emotions um, for someone before and they've never felt this unconditional love that they have for you. They've never felt that. They thought, um, you know, they thought love was just love. They never really delved into it. They never delved into the deepness of it and what was actually going on. They never did that. They just had this surface level, oh, love is love, you know? But what they've realized with you guys is that there are underlying levels of this love for the two of you and it's leading to an unconditional love um, that you two can go through whatever you've gone through and there is still gonna be love left between the two of you. It's not as easy to switch their emotions off towards you as they thought it would be. And that's why they still have hope over the situation, regardless of what's going on in your in your energies they're feeling very sad at this moment in time they're feeling a little bit low uh, sad and low you know they want to be at peace with the situation they are hopeful of being at peace um but they're not they're not at this moment in time they're very very conflicted in their energy um again trying to keep level-headed trying to keep grounded trying not to run away with the fairies but they I've just got REM losing my religion. They're kind of losing, I wouldn't say their religion as such, but they're losing faith a little bit because they're not, they haven't handled the situation well. Um, they haven't handled how they've been handling you well. They've hurt you and they know that they've hurt you and they don't really know how to recover from that at this moment in time. So they're kind of feeling that they're standing in the spotlight, losing a little bit of faith, losing a little bit of self-control over the situation they don't feel in control of it at the moment and that is scaring the living daylights out of them because your person is someone that likes control they like to be in charge of the situation and they're not they're not you are you guys are more in charge of it um Again, there is hopes and dreams here that you two could come together at a later date. There is going to be a few issues with children as well. And if you are third party, you are being seen as this massive temptation in their life at the moment. You know, third parties and if they are with someone else, they see you as this big tempting goddess. Um, and it's almost like they feel like they can't have you at this moment in time. And that, again, is coming into their dreams. It's haunting them. It's scared. It haunts them. It haunts them how they've handled the situation or handling the situation. Um, it haunts them that they have these very strong emotions for you and don't know how to deal with it. So they run away or they back away or they cut contact or they go off with someone else or they are with someone else. They don't know how to handle the emotions because the emotions and the energy between the two of you is very, very strong. Now, they see that you are actually more cool and calm and collective about your emotions um, some of you anyway they feel that you are more cool and calm and collective about your emotions um, and they can feel that you are again you are more in control of the situation than what you think they like to be in control but at the moment it's actually in your you guys hands and you, you're gonna say oh I'm not sure that is exactly what spirit is saying it's in your hands at this moment in time remember again collective mutual energy but you are in the one in control you are the one that should be calling the shots they feel as well that they've been chasing their tail a little bit that the two of you have been going around in circles that they've been trying to break this wheel between the two of you they've been trying to break this chain they've been trying to stop chasing their tail and they've been trying to step into the circle of this wheel of fortune they've been trying to step into it pick up the prizes pick up the gems and feel really good about the situation but then when this happens it's almost like something will happen between you guys and it'll put a dampener on it or it's going to catch fire and there'll be an argument 
so they go back to chasing their tail. This is a cyclical relationship because the love between the two of you isn't fading, you know? It hasn't faded, it's still there. And therefore they're chasing their tail, trying to jump into this jewel dairy and say, okay, let's do it, let's give it a go, or let's be together, or everything's gonna be perfect because we're gonna get married and have kids and yada, yada, yada. Um, but they start chasing their tail again because they realize that they haven't handled it right. And there'll be a situation normally that arises between the two of you, they will then retreat and withdraw and start chasing the tail again. They're also quite good at camouflaging their emotions. So over here again, we said about the onion and the layers. Spirit is saying that they camouflage their emotions. They hide their emotions from you. And um, there is a lot of love between the two of you. I mean, very, very strong, unconditional love. And your person, again, doesn't know how to handle it. So they, they freak out, start chasing the tail and don't let you into the inner layers of what's going on within their mind. Um, I just got, I don't know what the song is where they say dancing with the devil. I just got that song coming through. Um, that is how they feel about the situation with you. Um, they feel, not that you, you guys are devils, you're not devils, but they don't under, they don't get it. They don't get why they're so drawn to you. They don't get why they can't break the chain to, with you. They don't understand it. It's almost like this addictive energy. So whether it's, you know, whether they do drugs or alcohol separately or whatever they do, there is an addictive energy going on between the two of you. Um, you know, you have the absolute highest of highs and you have the absolute lowest of lows. You know, and you try to, when you're on this low point, you have it, they have it as well. Don't think it's all on you. They have it as well. So you have these um, really sad points. I miss them or I love them or we can't be together. Fear, 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 you know. They have these lower emotions and then you'll reach out and you'll hear from each other and you'll have this high, you'll have this hit, you'll have this, yes, this is amazing. This feels absolutely phenomenal. But then something will happen and you go back to this kind of boom. And this is what they mean by dancing with the devil. Now, spirit are watching over this situation, okay? Again, it's a divinely blessed one. <laughs> You'll say, what? But it is, it's a divine relationship. Um, some of you as well, your, you and your person, because of the energy between the two of you, because of this toxic energy, there is a, a, sometimes this need to be, uh, they, can, they or you, depending on your individual circumstances, can be a little bit cunning about the situation. You know how to push each other's buttons, okay? So you sit there and you push and you push, and you, when you are in contact or whatever, you push and you push and you push and you push, and this creates this eruption between the two of you. So dancing with the devil, spirit watching over it, watching, um, that, yeah, cunning, push each other's buttons, which creates this eruption over here. Um, they try to work it through, but it's like they almost get electrocuted. Okay, so if you can see, this is a light bulb, a lamp, the little frog in between. That's lovely, isn't it? Um, and the lid. It's like they, they hop into the situation, and it's that you play with fire, you get burnt, you sit there and you push each other's buttons, and then you have this <laughs> eruption. Okay, um, and then you have to have this healing time afterwards. You have to feel, you have to take a step back and you have to heal yourselves, or, or they do, you know, they go into the man cave, again, remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but the man cave, we work with energies, the male energy, um, they go to retreat, they go to think it through, they go to understand what's happened, they go to process, and you'll still want the communication with them, you'll still want to hear from them, they will come back when they are ready to come back, they will message or reach out to you when they are ready, but whilst they are licking their wounds from being electrocuted, um, from the fire between the two of you, the passion between the two of you, they have to take the time out, and you can't communicate with them whilst they are in that cave, it's just, it just, it, they'll be back, but you can't communicate with them whilst you're in the cave. We have uh, a card to strength. I love this woman. I love this woman because I never read the books. I never read tarot books. But for this one, I pulled, um, pulled the card out and I looked at it and I thought, you know what? I'm going to look at the book. And it said, Sophia is a powerful ally, but they spell ally how they spell Ali. So this card reminds me of me. Um, they see that you are, and we've got the Queen of Swords as well. They see that you are in a lot, you are a strong, powerful female energy or whatever equivalent they see you in your powerful energy they see you um understanding more than what you're letting on they see that you are you've got a knowledge of this divine energy um and they see that you can kind of offer them everything that they want and they're almost a bit too scared to take it they've got we over here we've got lavender okay the song by marillion lavender gonna find a way back to you if you guys aren't in contact they are gonna come back towards you um 
the new moon, this new moon that's coming is going to be bringing in a lot of new energies into your life. So try not to resist it, be in allowance of it. Your onion at the start, if you see the top, this reminds me of the onion. The layers are being peeled of your person at the moment. They're starting to understand what's going on. Um, they are realising that they have to let you in to their emotions at some point um, and express what they're feeling, express that they're scared, express that they don't understand, it. express that it's an addiction energy, express everything that we've explained to you. Um, but they're trying to get an understanding of it at this moment in time. And they just see you in this powerful, sexual, strong, passionate energy where you push each other's buttons. Um, they know that you know more than what you're letting on. Okay, And that scares them as well because they think, well, what do they know? What's going to happen? You lot seem to have an idea of it, you know, you, you understand it more and your person doesn't get that. I've just seen uh, fireworks exposing, there is a lot of fire based energy in this deck, a lot of passionate sexual fire based energy within deck number two um, and the need for communicating about it again. So these fireworks kind of go off around you, you erupt, the passion between the two of you, you hit the highest fireworks, the most beautiful ones, and then you hit the really little crappy Catherine wheels at the bottom. Your emotion, that your person's emotions are up and down and round and round, but underneath it all there is this very strong heart-centred love for you. You know, they do love you. They do love you, but they're feeling very, very stuck. So we have the hanging on to the situation with you, still holding on to it, needing to let you in, unconditional love between the two of you, not understanding that. Seeing you, um, oh sorry, crying over spilt milk, seeing that you two, they are, that you've got a better understanding of it, that they've kind of lost their faith and lost their way a little bit and trying to find their way back towards you. And uh, knowing that you are in more control of the situation, that you are in your power and there's this level of temptation that comes with that. Um, dancing with the devil, playing with fire, spirit, spirit are watching over. Um, trying not to let themselves get burnt but situations happen where they're chasing their tail jump off to try and fix things with you and then an eruption will happen normally i have to say as well that it's them that starts it i have to throw that in there spirit just told me but you need to be aware of that seeing you in this strong female sense knowing that there's a lot more that they've got to peel off these layers of this onion um and break these chains break these molds that are thick that are keeping your relationship from going in circles but they just don't know how at this moment in time. They'll work it out. But the love between the two of you is the strongest, okay? So they do really love you. And that is what their hidden emotions are for you lot. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, email mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I've got a website, which is mrlovetarot.com. Um, so you can go and see everything on there you need to see. The only thing that I don't have on the website is about teaching. Um, I haven't advertised it. I've just, well, I've said about it on YouTube. I haven't really advertised it. Um, and it's not on the website. So if you want to know about mentoring, let me know. Um, single questions, they're $11.11 over email. And the turnaround for them is... For, uh, 24 to 48 hours, $11.11 11 per question, 24 to 48 hours email. Uh, what else? That's it. That's it. Okay, guys, um, have a really good new moon. I will speak to you all next week. Be good, be safe, and lots of love. Take care. Bye.